Soccer is everything. You know, I've, I've, I've seen it all. I've done most of it. And, um, you know, it would be silly now for me to um, switch professions. You know, I, I want to stay in soccer. I want to give back. I have a lot of knowledge that I can use um, with some really good people around me. So, yeah, I want to stay in I don't want to coach, but I definitely want to stay in the game, and uh, I'll always be connected. I think the ownership role that I have um, kind of suits suits my style of leadership. I like bringing good people to the table uh, and allowing them to work. And certainly that's, as I, as I move forward, that's where I feel my expertise lies. So not afraid to make big decisions, not afraid to be uncomfortable. So I feel like that uh, role suits me. I have been doing it for a long time at a pretty high level, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. And so a few more people got to know my name, but my world didn't change too much. Playing in England in the Premier League, which is an exciting, well-known league. I, I was used to getting uh, some plaudits, but also <laughs> uh, just getting kicked around a little bit. So I, I know how to keep myself grounded. God, what if I talk a lot less? You know, I think I feel like I have an opinion on everything, and, and, and I've shared that along the way. But uh, I think the humility part of, of, of sports um, is, is, very, is very grounding. I think there's, there's bumps along the way. When you're young, you feel like Superman. You feel like you can do anything. Uh, and then when those, when those hard times hit, uh, it's very difficult for an athlete, particularly a young athlete. So I think the advice would be just to kind of keep your head up and keep moving forward. I feel like there was quite a few big brands I was lucky to work with. Uh, I said no to a few simply because, uh, you know, I like to try and keep my stable pretty small. I can you know, work with the top, top companies and give my time and effort to them and then uh, I don't want to short change anybody in that regard. I, I think it's good to be selective. Not everyone is and I think they dilute, them, dilute themselves a little bit too much, but the vision that you have for yourself as long as, as, long as the, the partner has that, that's important. Yeah, I don't mind, you know, being a trailblazer and a pioneer. I saw some of the covers out there. So since then, you got a lot bigger athletes and better athletes, but I appreciate the fact that I was the first. Being 40 is tough, especially, especially in my world. Uh, Sunday mornings are not very fun, win, lose, or draw. So um, lots of rest. 40-year-olds need lots of rest. Happy 40th birthday to Adweek. Thank you for putting me on the cover all those years ago.